at the World Archery Championships in Torino, Italy. Standing by is an athlete from the United States, Erica Anschutz. Erica, talk about your matchup today, a successful one. Yeah, I shot well today. I had a few arrows that were kind of unexplainable. I was making good shots, so that's all that I wanted to do. You have uh, had some really good success as a team and also most recently in Porridge, a gold medal. Uh, what kind of, I guess, experience can you take off of that when going into tomorrow's semifinals? Yeah, I definitely feel like that I'm getting better and better at these head-to-heads and whenever it comes um, to the pressure time, so hopefully the experience will pay off. And speaking of head-to-heads, your opponent tomorrow is somebody you know a lot about. Talk about that. Yeah, uh, me and Albin have shot, Albin and I have shot against each other a lot. <laughs> and it seems like we're like always back and forth. I win some, she wins some, so it'll definitely be an interesting match. Really friendly battle and somebody you know a lot about could be a benefit for you. It could be, yeah. What, uh, what sort of, uh, what does it mean to you to, to be here at the World Championships in Italy and how has your experience been this week? Uh, it means really a lot. It was tough to uh, to get here. It's a really tough competition in the U.S. for women's compounds, so it's a tough road getting here. So it's ju I'm just proud to be here, and it's it's been a good experience so far. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Standing by with Sergio Pani from Italy, a two-time World Cup winner. Unfortunately, today in the quarterfinals, not the result you wanted. Yes, I uh, I was hoping about a final, a final match, a semi-final and a final, so now I'm stopped at the end uh, to the quarter. I'm a little disappointed because I never take a, a World Championship medal, so uh, I tried this time, but unfortunately I found a, a, an adversary that makes uh, one less to the total, so he shoot well. I, I wait uh, other two years now. Mm -hmm. Now tomorrow, though, you have uh, something to look forward to in the mixed gold final. That uh, that should be tremendous tomorrow in front of your home nation. Yes, fortunately, I have uh, now. I, I take the, my first world uh, championship medal in the mixed team with Marcella Tonioli. I'm very happy because uh, we are in in our countries. Uh, this uh, new team uh, is, uh, I think, made for us because we are a nation that can have. Very good archer in the, for the mixed team. So we are all, all the season since uh, the the World Cup of uh, two years ago with uh, uh, Anastasia Anastasio in Copenhagen making the final uh, with uh, Denmark. So I think this is a, a very nice uh, nice medal, nice matches, nice team. I like. What is it like to be an Italian in Italy competing for a gold medal? Well, I just made a couple of times, uh, and once here in, in Turin uh, in 2008, the European uh, Indoor Championship that I won against Peter Alzinga. I think that the final are every time uh, emotionating. So, uh, to be in our country and uh, in front of uh, the person that speak your language and see you and want you make the results is uh, it's something for for uh, for them, not for me. So it's a uh, it's emotionating, and uh, I w I hope to to keep a goal tomorrow in front of uh, in front of Turin, in front of the of France, and uh, all. Should be great. Best of luck to you. Thanks. Reporting live from the World Archery Championships in Torino, Italy.